So a lot of people have been asking for me to do a collection tour, and I think it's been long enough since the last one that I can do another one, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with my main desk and also all the stuff that I have over here and all the things I have to my right because this is where about 20% of my collection is. First, Armada Megatron, because I just got them. Then Legacy Axle Grease, Legacy Beach Covers down here, Earth Spark Twitch, hate this thing. Then Scrap Hook, Crash Bar over here, Studio Series Bumblebee, Shrapnel, uh, Mainline Nightbird, Devcon, Mainline Optimus Prime, Side Reverse Rack and Ruin, uh, then Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Ratchet, Side Reverse Hot Rod, Siege Hound, Earthrise Dirge slash Legacy Dirge, uh, Studio Series Cheetor, Legacy Goldbug, Studio Series Battle Trap, 2007 Dropkicks down there, Kingdom Tracks, a Black Series Clone Trooper is down there somewhere, Earthrise Blue Streak, Netflix Impactor, uh, Mainline Wheeljack, Bum Buzzworthy Bumblebee Silver Streak, Mainline Cheetor, Legacy Blaster, Siege Springer, and all the way back here is Retro Headmaster's Hardhead. Over here, some other figures that I'm not currently using, but I don't know where to put them. Studio Series Scourge, 86 Ratchet, Revenge of the Fallen Sideways, Legacy Nemesis Prime, Retro Headmaster Skull Cruncher, and then back there is Legacy G2 Megatron and Studio Series Freezer. Over here, we got some more. We have the majority of a Piranicon plus Swindle, uh, a completed Power of the Primes Abominus, a completed Studio Series Devastator, Mask Optimus Primals right there. More stuff, we got Earthrise Astro Wave, Astro Works, Retro Headmasters Brainstorm, uh, Velocitron Burnout, Kingdom Pipes, Legacy Metal Hawk. What is this thing? Legacy Elite One, Kingdom Sideswipe, Origins Jazz, Studio Series Bumblebee Movie RC, uh, Legacy Twin Twist, Kingdom Warpath, Kingdom Huffer, Kingdom Mirage, Legacy Skids, and Siege Crosshairs. Also up here is Lego Optimus Prime and Shattered Glass Jetfire. This is where I keep the rest of my Transformers stuff, so yeah, we got a, a little bit to get through. I'll start with the top. Legacy Menasaur, Cyberverse Deluxe Starscream. Is there anything above that? I think Cyberverse Deluxe Soundwave and uh, what, Shockwave, I think's up here. Yeah, Shockwave. Custom Thrust sent to me by Beyond Max. There was a sound wave up here. TLK Megatron's back there because I have nowhere to put him. Cyberverse Megatron, Cyberverse Dead End, Cyberverse RC, Cyberverse Macadam, Cyberverse Optimus Prime, and Cyberverse Grimlock. And then over here, Cyberverse Cheetor and Cyberverse Bumblebee. And then this is my Beast Wars shelf. I'll start with the back going to the front. Kingdom Rhinox. Kingdom Dinobot, which you can barely see because there's no lights in here. Legacy Lyo Convoy. Uh, Pulse Con Ravage. He's not sealed. I just put him back in the box because he sucks. Golden Disc Tigatron. Kingdom Megatron, which you can't see because it's so dark. Yeah, like I said, they're in there. You just couldn't see them before. Kingdom Grimlock. Kingdom Optimus Primal. Kingdom Tigatron. Kingdom Skywarp. Kingdom Paleotrex, Legacy Inferno, Kingdom Nemesis Primal, Legacy Dragon Megatron, which is a really good figure that I just can't find a way to implement into my videos, a Legacy Tarantulas, Kingdom Scorponox hiding behind Black Arachne and Waspinator, uh, Paralyzer, I think, Buzzsaw, uh, Customized Kingdom Cheetor, Kingdom Air Razor, and then Reissue Cyber Shark and Tigatron. Then Kingdom Dracodon, Kingdom Rat Trap, uh, Kingdom Toy Scorponok, Kingdom Shadow Panther, Kingdom Waspinator, Legacy Sandstorm, I think, and the original Kingdom Black Arachnia. Then there's the Decepticon shelf, which is extremely crowded because the Decepticons only get one shelf while the Autobots get two, but, you know, I only have so many shelves. Time to Return Overlord, Legacy Skyquake, Legacy Galvatron, uh, Kingdom Cyclonus, Earthrise Double Dealer, Time to Turn Blitzwing, and then Earthrise Astro Train. I forgot Shockwave. Customized Siege Soundwave, Earthrise Starscream, Combiner Wars Onslaught, Legacy Armada Starscream, Earthrise Snapdragon, 
Legacy Tarn, and Legacy Geaxis. Then Retro Headmasters, Mindwipe, Siege Spinister, uh, Time to Turn Fangry, Retro Headmasters, Weird Wolf, Time to Turn Quake, Time to Turn Trigger Happy, and Legacy Crankcase, which you can barely see. And Earthrise Fast Track, Siege Brunt, uh, Siege Skytread, Legacy Needle Nose, Legacy Ransack, Legacy Skullgrin, Legacy Kickback, and Earthrise Runabout. For the front row, there's Siege Refractor, uh, Time to Turn Shuffler, Siege Blowpipe, uh, Pounce and Wingspan from Earthrise, Legacy Iguanas, Tide Return Overkill, Legacy Bomb Burst, uh, Thrilling 30s Dread, a Dreadwing, Netflix Mirage, Legacy Shockwave, Earthrise Airwave, Transformers Prime Dead End, Legacy Quartz Skywarp, and Kingdom Soundwave. This shelf is like my main Autobots, like the ones that I like the most, like my definitive Autobots. It's mostly empty because the rest of them are in stop motions right now, so I can't put them here. But there's Kingdom Inferno, a Siege Ultra Magnus, Earthrise Prime, Earthrise Grapple, Earthrise Hoist, and Legacy Bulkhead, Earthrise Wheeljack, 86 Ironhide, 86 Perceptor, Siege Ironhide, Earthrise Ironworks, and then Netflix Deep Cover, Earthrise Kingdom Red Alert, and Selects Deep Cover, Legacy Prowl, Kingdom Slammer, Earthrise Clip Jumper, Earthrise Smokescreen, and Golden Disc Jackpot. The bottom shelf is just extra storage for my other Autobots with Fall of Cybertron Impactor, Earthrise Skylinks, 86 Grimlock and Sludge, Siege Prime. Up there I think is Siege Sideswipe, Siege Red Alert, Fall of Cybertron Whirl, Fall of Cybertron Topspin, Fall of Cybertron Roadbuster, Fall of Cybertron Twin Twist, and then Legacy Hotshot, Power of the Primes Outback, a Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Worlds Collide Bumblebee, I think. The one axe thing that came with Jackpot, I don't remember who he is. Studio Series Brawn and Legacy Point Blank. Bottom shelf is my movie stuff because that's just how it ended up being. Studio Series 2007 Megatron, Studio Series Blackout, Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, Energon Igniter's Barricade, Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Starscream, Studio Series Blitzwing, Studio Series Thrust, Age of Extinction, Voyager Grimlock, The Last Night Hound, Studio Series Bone Crusher, Studio Series Brawl, Studio Series Galvatron, Studio Series Jazz, Studio Series Dark of the Moon Ratchet, Dark of the Moon Topspin, Studio Series Roadbuster, Studio Series Leadfoot, Age of Extinction Snarl, Age of Extinction Slug, I think, TLK Drift, 2007 Barricade, Age of Extinction Strafe, Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee, Studio Series Hot Rod, 2007 Camaro Bumblebee, Studio Series 2007 Bumblebee, Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, and Studio Series Jeep B. And then this is where all the figures I plan on selling in the future uh, end up, just like a bin. And there's not too many of them in here because usually I'm pretty good about not buying the figures I don't like, but you can see there's still a couple of them in here. Uh, Transformers Prime Knockout, Netflix Soundwave, Cyberverse Slug, which isn't a bad figure at all, it's just that I have no place in my collection for it. It's a really good figure, but, you know, just no place. Cyberverse Soundwave, my broken Earthrise Wheeljack, Legacy Knockout, and Legacy RC, McDonald's Transformers Prime Breakdown, Siege, Singe, I think, uh, Fire Drive and Aimless, a customized hound that I have no place for, like I said. Uh, random Unicron and Bumblebee. Power of the Primes Slash, I think. Throwing 30s Hoist. Uh, incomplete Earthrise Airwave. And 86 Hot Rod. That is pretty much my entire collection. Um, yeah, I guess in a year I'll do another collection tour. See how much has changed since then.